Hello! Welcome back to more Humpty Dumpty crafts and activities. Now, here's a really, really simple Humpty Dumpty idea for you. I'm going to show you in a minute how I just put together this very, very simple Humpty Dumpty for my kids to colour. And the idea is, you create a Humpty Dumpty like this, then you cut him up, and then as you talk through the nursery rhyme, you can talk about um, how all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But you ask your child, can you? And you let them have a go. So I'll just show you when we snip them up. You can just literally, when you make your own puzzle, you don't have to have the perfect shapes. And depending on your child, um, you know, you can also get them to colour it in first. But depending on your child, you can make lots of snips or little snips. And you go, here we go. Oh no, what's happened to Humpty Dumpty? And then together, you can try and work out how to put him together again. And in terms of drawing your Humpty Dumpty, um, either you can just go online and do a little Google search for Humpty Dumpty's, print one out and create your own, or you, um, you know, and, and print out your own, you know, one of, from the internet, or you just um, have a go at roughly drawing an egg. Now, egg shapes can be a bit tricky, and, you know, I'm, I'm got, I've got used to drawing by freehand, so again, with the egg shape, if you feel unconfident, you simply go to the internet and Google egg printable and then you usually get your shape. So you draw your rough sketch, you put, you ask your child, or you get them actually to draw it, would you like to add a hat like this? So you could just give them the egg and get them to, to draw it in. And then you start adding details like this. And, you know, maybe you add some feet, add a bow tie, that kind of thing. And then once you're sort of happy, um, you know, sometimes I kind of sort of go over it a few times like that. And then I need to get it neatened like that. You simply take a black pen and go over it for them, like that. That kind of thing. And fill it all in. And then once it's dry, so let the black pen dry a little bit, because sometimes they can smudge. You just gently take a good rubber and then go over it like this and take off your lines. And then that's how you create your very own simple Humpty Dumpty puzzle. Here we go. I wonder if we can put this Humpty together again. I know my um, four-year-old is going to enjoy doing this activity when we get home from school. Here we're already in school. Anyway, hope you enjoyed playing with Humpty Dumpty and see you again soon. Bye-bye.